when it comes to gameplay, that's really important because actually that's the bottleneck for us at the moment. It doesn't matter whether you've got PCIe 4.0, whether you've got NVMe 3 or 4, it's actually your processor which is going to be holding you back. Hey folks, so my head is just so buzzing right now with everything I've been learning around PCIe 4.0, next gen stuff, the new GPUs coming out. Just had to take a break from my current wee water cooling build that I'm working on and just brain dump some of this. Just want to get this information out there. Yeah, so PCIe 4.0, there's two ways in which PCIe 4.0 is going to be significant for next gen. There's fast access to storage and there's speed for traffic between the CPU and the GPU. In terms of GPU performance, Nvidia has come out and officially said that PCIe 3.0 is only going to give maybe a couple of percent of performance difference with their 3000 series cards. It's a very blanket statement, so presumably including the top end of the 3000 series. And a couple of independents that I follow closely and trust, who are a lot smarter than me when it comes to the inner workings of motherboards and so on, have come out saying similar things, although the numbers that they threw out were more like possibly 5% or even maybe somewhere between 5 and 10. I suppose I would uh, trust that a little bit more than Nvidia's numbers because obviously Nvidia wants everyone who owns PCIe 3 hardware to go out and buy their new cards as well. They're really sick of everyone sticking with their 1000 series cards, especially the 1080 Ti, which would be really hard for them to kill off. That's interesting. I mean, it may, it may come a time when uh, a few percent, 5% of extra performance could really count with the demand that some of the next gen engines are going to put on us if we want to push 60 or maybe even 120 frames a second depending on whether you're playing competitively or just immersive casual stuff <clears throat> and, and and you like uh, to play with ultra settings right now on the storage side of things things are a lot more complicated we've got the nvme 4 ssds which have come out and they boast about incredible throughput speeds However, PCIe 3.0 isn't really able to provide the bandwidth needed to take advantage of that. Now, uh, PCIe 4.0 theoretically can, however, the gaming APIs which the CPU use require the CPU to do a lot of uh, decompression of the assets as they're loaded. When it comes to gameplay, that's really important because actually that's the bottleneck for us at the moment. It doesn't matter whether you've got PCIe 4.0, whether you've got NVMe 3 or 4, it's actually your processor which is going to be holding you back and generally game developers at the moment won't try and stream any assets from their game world at faster than about 50 megabytes a second which is way lower than the actual data throughput which is available from your NVMe bandwidth. Just to add another layer of complexity we have Nvidia announcing RTX IO which is direct loading of assets from the SSD into the GPU, where the GPU can use its incredible floating point performance to extremely rapidly do that decompression. It'll remove a significant amount of load from the CPU, which is great, but most importantly, it will hugely, like by order of magnitudes, increase the amount of game assets that can be loaded at one time, or how quickly they can be loaded. So you can imagine Star Wars style speeders going through photorealistic unlimited polygon count terrain. If you want to achieve something like that, direct NVMe to GPU is the future. Now a big question which is hanging over RTX IO is whether or not it will work on PCIe 3.0 systems. And specifically by that, I mean PCIe 3.0 for the M2 slots on your main boards. Because like for example on the Intel Z490 platform, some board manufacturers have announced support for PCIe 4.0 on the PCIe slot for your graphics card, but not for M2 access. Now you definitely could get a performance boost on PCIe 3.0 using RTX IO if they turn it on for PCIe 3.0 platforms. Because PCIe 3.0 certainly has lots of unutilized bandwidth when it comes to games because of that bottleneck with CPU decompression. So if they do make it PCIe 4.0 only, then it's probably for some more artificial constraint or some highly nuanced technical detail which um, would be yet to be revealed. Now I've been doing a lot of digging around this question. I can tell you that on the Q&A for Nvidia's official announcement, and a Microsoft's official announcement around direct storage, which is the API for RTX IO, the question has been asked, will you need PCIe 4.0 to use RTX IO? And it's been left hanging. An NVIDIA dev did respond 
and they basically said it will work for RTX on their 2000 series cards. And that's all we can say right now. And again, the same question has been left hanging on the Microsoft Q&A. Even though I can't think of any technical reason why RTX IO shouldn't work on a PCIe 3.0 storage system, it might not. The fact that NVIDIA is enabling RTX IO for their 2000 series cards does perhaps give us a clue that it will be enabled for PCIe 3.0 because I really don't think that they're wanting people to stick with their 2000 or 1000 series cards as they upgrade to modern platforms which support PCIe 4.0, right? They want you to buy RTX 3000 cards if you're doing a big upgrade, so presumably they're enabling this for RTX 2000 systems to work as they are with RTX IO. So given that we don't actually know for 100% sure whether or not you're going to need PCIe 4.0 M2 support on your board to take full advantage of RTX IO or to have it at all, so what should you buy now if you're wanting to be ready for RTX IO and all the other goodies that GeForce 3000 series is going to give us in the future? Well, I've already come out and said that I think Intel is the best choice of platform right now, and you can watch my previous video if you want to know why I think that. If anyone wants just a prescription for what to get for a future-proof build right now, I've put together a PC parts picker list. I'm going to share that with you and go through it in detail in my next video coming up very soon, so make sure you subscribe so you catch that when it comes out.